look familiar? Yep, that's because we are packing up again. This time we are leaving our Silverstar home, getting ready to pack up for a bit of travel before we head off to our new summer slash spring jobs, which is very exciting, but gosh, I feel like this is just deja vu again. I think we have packed and moved. We moved from one address to another in Kalgoorlie one year, and then another the following year, then from that address to Perth, then from Perth to Silver Star, and then Silver Star to our new job. So it's like six times in like two years of packing up our life and getting ready to move on to other exciting things, which is very exciting, but uh, a little bit deja vu like in the packing side of things. So here we go again. What's your thoughts on packing again? <laughs> to be honest, Hansel. <laughs> I was just waking up before. I'm pretty sure this is like our fifth time in two years. Fucking fluffy. Overpacking. <laughs> but it'll be cool. But I'm still over it. Yeah, I was saying the same thing. Like, we get to have more experiences. But, like, I'm pretty sure this has just been, like, the state of our life more times than... <laughs> I could imagine. I've lived out of a suitcase for the last five years. <laughs> in a bag. To and from work. To and from houses. To and from countries. To and from different resorts in countries. One day, probably not in the near future, we'll be able to afford our own house. And we'll be able to stay put. And guess what? I'll be living out of a bag until we can do that. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. But are you so excited for moving? I'm excited for moving resorts, except for this. This can... <laughs> yeah, if we could just flick our fingers and then... Eat a bag. Just be like, bam, and then done. <laughs> you should see the mess that is in front of me right now. I have done about five trips back and forth from our housing to the car park, which doesn't sound like a lot. Like, you imagine parking at the front of your house and just, you know, opening the front door. But it's not. It's literally a trek down the hill to get it all in. And when you've got it all so heavy and the ice is just insane on the roads at the moment, like, you cannot walk five steps without nearly going AOT. It's been a, it's been a, been a challenge. <laughs> um, but basically, the plan of attack is to get everything that we are going to be taking with us for the summer set up into Walter, so into the drawers, into our, what we've got as storage at the moment, ready to hit the road first thing Tuesday morning. So we do that today, and then tomorrow we're taking what we're not taking with us into our storage unit. Might sound a little bit excessive, oh my gosh, that they've got a storage unit, but it's literally the tiniest storage unit you can imagine. Like, we literally went into this new place that opened, we're like, hey, we've got, like, suitcases and snowboards that we don't want to lug around with us for the summer, like, have you got something to suit us? And they did. It's literally the perfect space just to put our two suitcases in, chuck our snowboards in, and anything else that we're not going to need for the summer, so that when we come back next season, it's ready to go. And where it's located is literally, like, central to where we plan on traveling so even if we don't end up back at silver star next season it's going to be there and easy for us to access so next couple of hours this is where i will be <laughs> so the first thing that i'm going to start with is this big pile of clothes we've got these little um luggage organizers that i'm going to try and put everything into so that when it's in the drawer it's nice and neat and not going to be rolling around everywhere while we are driving so this is just my pile i still have brandon's pile down the bottom we might need to cull some stuff I'm a notorious overpacker but I think this is a winner One thing that I'm definitely not going to miss about winter is having to rug up every time you want to step outside just for five minutes. I am so excited for a little bit of sunshine. All right, let's go and get this kitchen started. It's honestly freezing. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do without my fingers getting really cold, so we'll see. All right, this is the mess that we've got to work with, and we've got to try and get it into these two drawers. We've got to go and unlock them. Let's try that again, shall we? So we're going to get it all into here. I already started putting some bits and pieces in. 
but there's a lot more to get organized. So this is gonna take us a minute. If you haven't seen our reel of some of our favorite shops that we found in Vernon, go and check it out. This Planet B is amazing. We got a couple of honeys from there the other day. We got that one and we got this beautiful creamed honey as well. We have honey nearly like every day in our um, like overnight oats and stuff, but so delicious. If you're ever in Vernon, definitely go and check them out and go and support them. They are incredible. All right, that's one side done. There's just a couple of things left in the pantry upstairs that'll fill up that space. So pasta and chia seeds. And then Brandon just needs to trim this one down slightly tomorrow so that we've got like another dividing section here that'll help organize that a little bit more. So that's just all spices in there ready for when we have our spice rack that'll go onto that door. But for now, that is done. All right, this is our current packing situation. Very messy. We are actually accomplishing something. It doesn't look like it, but we are. We just made a last minute little change. We just cut out a little bit here. So it was like all the way out to here. So we've just given ourselves a bit more space because that's where we're gonna hang our towels. So we got a little towel rack hanger today, which is all caught up, but it's that one there. And then we also got a shoe holder set ready to go. So just last minute bits and pieces before we hit the road bright and early. Final touches to make our life a bit more comfortable. Yeah, just for now. Yes, for mm -hmm. now. We may we have out of packets, boys. We may have stolen. Well, not stolen. They had like all this communal food, like that people have left behind. So we definitely plate some um, some little extra pastas and brown rice and some chickpeas. I wish they did it last week, so we didn't have to go to the shop. Yeah. <laughs> but this is how our kitchen storage is looking. It's looking pretty good. We've actually got way more in here than I thought we would get. Hey. Yeah, it's deceiving once you get it all in yeah. there. Yeah, and Brandon put that extra divider in that I talked about. So we just got like that extra kind of bit of organization to have baking stuff back there and then like herbs and spices and stuff in there at the moment before we get our rack, but we're getting there. All right, we're back at it. We just had a break. So I was getting grumpy. Yeah, Brandon had his grumpy pants on. It was really, really cold. Like it's so cold this afternoon. There's a wind. Like it's probably no colder than what it has been, but because there's that wind chill factor, it's just freezing like our hands we could hardly feel them so we have to go and have a break we had some dinner the most random dinner i think we've ever had in our life it was literally like let's just finish off everything that we have which was just like some um like potato gems and some bit of lasagna and a lot, little bit of garlic bread it was a very random dinner but we'll we that out for tonight oh yeah we've got um popcorn flavoring territory we've been meaning to try for ages so we're back at it last bit of the packing mainly the kitchen stuff right now <laughs> and then we are just about done. So close. Fluff. <laughs> okay, kitchen storage drawer pretty much done. A lot of this stuff will come out when we get to our new staff housing accommodation. So it's way more full than like what it probably will be when we're traveling around. But good game of Tetris trying to get it all in. It's very late. It's been a massive day. I'm gonna go and get some sleep now. <laughs> night, night time. Night, night time, and we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good morning everybody. If it looks like I've just rolled out of bed, it's because I pretty much have. We got up nice and early and then uh, finished packing up our room. We literally had like a box of stuff to put into the car, but we just couldn't hack it last night. And then checked out and headed down the mountain. We've just gotten ourselves a nice hot chockey and we are ready to hit the road. I'm so excited. It was a bit like bittersweet saying goodbye to Silver Star, but also time for us to move on on to new adventures and who knows we might be back next season but i'm so excited for our drive to canmore today it's going to be so beautiful and i'm so excited we're going to stop at margaret falls on the way and then um a lookout as well so we've got lots of adventures brandon's just committed to the to the footage you know he's cleaning the window <laughs> but we are really excited to hit the road 
Also, on a side note, how cute are Canadians? They're the cutest. They are. Are you excited? I am. I'm excited to go to our new job in the 20th of next month, but I'm looking forward to the next week of just being able to relax with a few friends and then um, start our five-week adventure living in the van. Me too. Time to get some warmth because <laughs> my body needs some heat. <laughs> yeah, we've literally been in the cold for, we pretty much like left, you know, in spring and it was still cold. Yeah. And then we had winter, which was cold, so... We've had like a year of winter. Had like a year of winter. It's time to thaw out. So let's get this adventure started! Margaret Falls, our first stop for the day, and oh my god, it is so pretty. I actually, I cannot stop smiling. This place is just stunning. Just have a look at this, like, oh my god, just so beautiful. I don't think the camera ever does places like this justice. Like, it is just so beautiful. What's the worst that could possibly happen here? Let me just like come back so you can get a sense of how big that tree is. <laughs> We just tried to go up to stop number two, which was Sikkimus Lookout. Yep. We got so close. A K to go. Literally a kilometer to go, and then it all of a sudden the road just went from like nice dirt road to just snow. Snow. <laughs> like there was no way we were getting up there in Walter. I was very nervous coming up. I was saying to Brandon, like, trying to trust a new car. Because like, when we first got our Hilux, Oh, I hated driving in it because like Brandon would, you know, be forward driving and stuff and I didn't really trust the car. So same thing in Walter at the moment, learning to trust him. But we didn't get to the top of the view, but look at how beautiful this view still is. We're about halfway. We just stopped at this little roadside stop because it's guacamole time. It's guac o'clock. Guac o'clock. <laughs> Pre-made some guac and Brandon found this vegan queso dip yesterday so we're gonna have a little bit of a snack slash probably lunch <laughs> Stuck in construction traffic, just chilling. And this one goes for a nap. <laughs> 
We've been here for hours. <laughs> Yep. We just arrived in Canmore and you will not believe the view that we have from our room. It is absolutely stunning. I'll give you a tour of the uh, the whole place later, but check this out. As if this is our view. Oh, so exciting. Oh, hey, <laughs> welcome. Now that we've had time to chill out, I can come and give you a tour of our beautiful Airbnb that we have. So we are staying in Canmore for the next 10 or so days, well, not quite 10 days, maybe eight or nine days, eight days, but there's about 10 or 11 of us staying in this amazing Airbnb. So when you walk in, we've got our beautiful dining area, which is just incredible. And then a lovely little kitchen. And like Brian was saying, we've got a beautiful coffee machine and a couple of roosters that are staying with us. So I'm sure that that will definitely get used. We're gonna head downstairs and do downstairs first, and then we're gonna head upstairs, so this way. We have one lounge room. Don't think this is gonna fit all 10 of us, but it is beautiful. Lovely fireplace, massive TV. <laughs> Remember that we've come from our staff housing, so this is extreme luxury for us right now. And then we're going downstairs to our next level. So this is the very bottom of the three-story apartment. This is another bedroom. And then outside here, we have got the spa which are a hot tub which I'm sure we're going to be spending lots and lots of time in. Lovely little hot tub. And then a small bathroom in here. Alright, so we're gonna head up to the second level. So a couple more bedrooms. First bedroom. This one here, nice king size bed. Beautiful massive bathroom. There is a bath in here. Double sink, another two bedroom or two person bedroom, massive bathroom with another bath, incredible, another double sink, huge shower, and we're going to level up again. <laughs> okay. Similar to one downstairs, another two bedrooms, another, uh, another two bedrooms, another two beds, Bathroom behind us. Hello. And then this is going to be our room for the next week. Lovely double bed. So a bit smaller than the bed downstairs, but you trade off for this. How amazing is this view? Oh, I'm actually so excited. This is where you will find us for the next week. Sitting right here, sipping a drink, looking out at this view. Stunning. And don't forget, massive TV for the next week as a beautiful luxury and our bathroom, which is perfect for us. Alrighty, so that is a tour of our beautiful Airbnb that we are staying at for the next week. I think we're going to finish the video up there because we're just going to relax for this afternoon and then get ready for some adventures tomorrow. So we hope you enjoyed our video today, guys. Make sure if you do, subscribe, like, and please share for us. And we'll see you next video.